Hey folks, welcome back. Okay, we are on round 62. Uh, let's have a look what happened in the history. So that was uh, that was Hyde from the tribes of man kind of moving around. We've also got some a little bit some border skirmishes going on here. Looks like I don't know. I think, I think this is like Richard, the edge of Richard's territory, isn't it? Yep. Oh no, it's Castella Republic. There we go. So yeah, we've got some stuff to do here. Um, Vidcom discovered fuel. That's good. Uh, we've dis. We've developed Loader, which is a new artillery piece. We'll have a look at that in a moment. We've discovered laser rifles, which is good. Radiation cleansing. And we've operationalized Light Armor Core. We've discovered prospecting optimization. And we've researched Jet Engine. Uh, jet Engine is excellent, which means we can start getting some models up now for aircraft. Some decent models as well. We also need to put some time... In, uh, to, we need to put some research, linear research, using the Applied Sciences Council into some of the... You know, things like uh, aerodynamics, alloys, uh, engine efficiency, all that stuff that you can do for, that you can research for the air forces in order to make them better. Okay, so uh, let's have a look. Incident with democratic activists. Where is this? Oh, okay. This is just Ingmar Black Dark. Okay, this guy's got kind of low, not very happy. What's What's wrong with him? Okay, yeah, he's just not very happy in general. I think he likes meritocracy and heart. So... It's going to piss him off, though, if we reverse his decision. Thing is, he's a good leader, this guy. Um, let's just ignore it. Uh, model Design t uh, Council Task Priorities. Right. What do we need to discover with regards to our models? Not really a lot. We've got pretty much everything. Um, we should probably get a medium aircraft model up. Uh, so yeah, let's just keep that as it is. Um, Applied Science Council task priorities. Let's see what we've got. To see if we've got anything to uncover yet. Okay, requisite. We can get this, we can get this. Aircraft design would be good. Let's just keep it as it is. I might just put a little bit more into research. Air Force Council research objectives. Okay. I think aerodynamic design is probably going to be the one. Yeah, this improves power to weight ratio. This improves aerodynamism. Let's put a little, let's try and get a little bit into both of those if I can. Okay, so. Helicopters are good, by the way. These are really good. I'm just interested to see... Yeah, it's... Ro okay, rotor engines. Here we are. So, yeah, we can make those. Um, it might be worth kind of going... Just making a quick quick model of one of these. Although aircraft are also really good, too. Guys, what I'm going to do is... Because this takes so long, I'm going to do this off camera and I'll show you what I've made next time. Um, so, I'll, I'll do this at the end of the... I'll do this at the end of the turn. Operationalize... Mechanized heavy machine gun infantry army might be good. We got the heavy armor army as well. I think we're going to need those. Uh, let's go for the mechanized heavy machine guns. Work strikes in Junicron. Uh, which one was Junicron again? Yeah, this guy's not performing very well either. Just give him some money. Uh, same here. I was just going to throw money at all these strikers. I'm going to have to do something about those at some point. Um, okay, let's leave that till the end. Okay, um, yeah, we. I mean, there's not really a whole lot more to do again on this turn, I don't think. Probably put, should start moving some of these troops. Let's get these guys back. Kind of this way. Yeah, this is Tribes of Man, isn't it? I don't want to antagonize Hyde by going by building, looking like I'm building up on his uh, doorstep. It's not very friendly. So let's just kind of move these guys back. Let's 
Interesting. He's uh, he's got machine gun infantry brigade here, just like I have. Okay. Yeah, I mean that's fair. Look, so. One, two, three, four. Where's the other one? Here, you see the one? This one up here. Grassy Marsh. Oof. Don't want to be fighting with tanks there, do we? Um, yeah, this is really not good take, uh, terrain for tanks at all. Although, def like, defending in ruins isn't too bad, actually. I'm just trying to figure out where I want to be putting these troops. Like, again, I don't, like, I think it's reasonable to put, you know, we should be putting troops on our borders just so that, in the same way, that, I don't know if you remember at the beginning of the game, I was kind of saying to Kale, look, hey, you know, if I'm going to spend troops guarding my border, you should at least do so as well. Otherwise, there's nothing to stop me from rolling in on you. And, you know, why wouldn't I do that? Um, so, yeah, I mean, I think it's fair to, I think it is fair to sort of build our troops up there. It's not like it's uh, we're, we're preparing for an invasion, and I genuinely aren't either. That's not what I'm not what I'm trying to do. Uh, let's see if I can get these guys replacements. Yeah, we can. Okay, so oh, what I'll do is let's just get the replacement troops up here. Oh, we've got plenty to go out. What is the problem here then? See, this is the thing, like, uh, often you don't get troops... Ah, hang on. Let me have a look at what replacement troops I've got, though. I wonder if they're um, a, a type that's just no good now. Quality level. There we go, look. Quality level is low. Um, did I set these guys so they're only taking decent quality? No, they're allowed. So, yeah... I don't know why they're not picking it up. I mean, there's plenty of... I think there's plenty of logistics. Ah, oh, hold on. Yeah, there should be plenty of logistics. What I might need to do is just increase the uh, the size of the logistics here. It might not have actually... It might be that my logistics system is set so that it prioritises, you know, zone... You know, produce moving between zones and it uh, over replacement of troops. I don't mind doing it manually. Honestly, like, if I want to... If I, the thing that I've learned with Shadow Empire is that um, because I'm still a bit kind of hazy on some of the systems, it's usually better for me just to do it manually because then, I, like, it, then we kind of get we avoid the problem that I have where I start kind of getting annoyed and blaming the game. <laughs> it's not always the game's fault. Sometimes it is though. Sometimes the game sucks. <laughs> it really pisses me off. But uh, for the most part, it's not usually my. It's not usually the game's fault. I don't think. Get, oh, okay, we can't we can't build those bolt buses there. I don't think we can get them there, so... Oh, right, okay, hang on a minute. This is the first independent mechanised infantry. Let's get these guys back, and I might detach them from... There we are, look. Now, these guys are independent mechanised machine gun as well. So, let's get these guys back into the first H SHQ2. Um, bring, these, bring these guys back. Now... These are mostly grunts. Grunts five, yeah, that's good. Okay, okay. So I've I've actually changed those over. I might have done that previous turn. Forgive me if I'm just being being dim there. Uh, let's upgrade all these guys to. Copy that. We upgraded three hundred grunts in one unit. Okay. I thought I did mass upgrade then. Can we do this? Yeah. Copy that. Okay, that didn't work. Um, not sure why. What's going on there? I wonder if it's the logistics again. We just don't have enough logistic points. Might be worth gra grabbing ourselves a two, three, five, six. Yeah, maybe we get ourselves a truck station down here. Just a uh, you know, level one. Just so we can increase the you know the size of our or increase the width of our logistics going down this direction. Uh, these guys moving up this direction. Need some replacements here too. Oh, okay, we can't get any up again. We can't get any up that way. 
Um, it's a light infantry battalion, isn't it? I just brought them up here to deal with that temporary problem. Get these guys walking through this uh, these woods here, then. Okay. Let's just have one of these units attacking in from the south. It should be enough. These guys are not even getting hits in on us, look. Absolute annihilation there, so... Follow up with the rest. 13 to 1, that looks good to me. Oh, they surrendered. Okay, that's good. Move them up then. So yeah, I'm going to take a little bit of territory here. Um, up and We've just pushed up on Castella Republic. Uh, okay. Um, let's get these, this stack of troops here. We've used group move. We've got more of these uh, rocket troopers as well. Let's get some of these guys up this way. One, two, three. Three, yeah. Sorry, I was uh, hesitating because I'm just trying to figure out the best way to go about this. So, uh, yeah. And let's get these two, let's get these units attached to the 11th here. There we go. So they'll actually benefit from the entrenchment that they've got here too. And the next turn, what I'll do is I'll move them up onto this line. I just want to make sure that we've got plenty of defences. Um, yeah, he's just using riflemen here. Medical team, military propagandist. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. I think movement-wise we've pretty much got everything sorted. Ah, uh, it would be nice. Maybe getting some roads into some of these areas as well, so that... Because I might need to eventually retreat into these mountains. Um, so maybe getting a couple of just dirt roads. Very, very expensive. They're very, very expensive in industrial points, but... And here, look, we can actually get in a, a, fuel, a fuel plant as well, so... But yeah, look, that's that's cost a whole lot of uh, industrial points. My industrial point output is massive, by the way, at the moment. Now, what where I'm, what I did before I started recording was I actually built, I've just started building some, uh, some power stations, some solar power stations. I'm putting one up here. Hold on, where are we? Solar panels one. Oh no, we've already got that one there. Uh, it was in Clyde, and I put one in uh, Junicron here as well. And where else? Basically, I just wanted to get um, I wanted to get a bunch of them up just in one turn, which is something that I can do. I might get one up here too, actually. Now, solar panels, they come out in one turn. It's, they do take machines. I'm actually going to have to just artisanally make a few machines, I think. Copy that. Just build a bunch of machines so we've got some. Um, yeah, now we're getting loads and loads of recruits. Um, this, again... You've got to be a little bit careful not to get too many because you are missing out on the service tax for the, for the people produce. But I, I've kind of, I, I honestly feel, and forgive me if I'm re repeating myself from last turn, but I, I kind of got to the point now, I think, with this one where it's not going to, it's not so much about, you know, worrying about service tax for industry. I really want to be just pu pumping out factories big time. Um, so, yeah, look, we've actually got the High Command 4 up now. This is going to be giving us loads of political points. Um... Let's just have a look at the civilization high peak. Okay, it's only high, not extreme. So, probably could do with putting up some more assets. We have got plenty of metal going up. I, w I really want to increase my metal output now, wherever I can. I'm going to nationalize this one, for example, look. Because these guys have just bought, just built one up. Uh, but I really want that. I, I, th I think we need to take that. Um, lots of recycling going up, look. Clyde's actually doing quite well look we, most of the people here are probably going to be like uh, government workers yeah look 18,000 
Got 40,000 populace here. It's not bad. So we need 50,000. Actually, Clyde's growing quite quick. So look, I mean, what turn are we on? 62. If you provide enough jobs in one of these cities, you, look, you can grow it relatively quickly. Wow, do you know what? I'd never even considered that. Out of all the discussions that we've, you know, I've had about about growing these small towns, I'd never really, it never twigged that if you just give them loads of jobs, then, you know, you're going to actually draw people in from the places outside. Obviously, we're going to be drawing people away from, you know, like my cities like High Peak, for example. So, yeah, I mean, you do have still have to be a little bit careful because you will be drawing them from your larger towns. But yeah, that's kind of, that's very, very, very interesting. Very, very interesting indeed. Uh, okay, so metal mine uh, Riggins. Riggins is still only level one. Okay, so for example, Riggins here, if we want to grow this, what we want to be doing is getting up, you know, scavenging places, that kind of thing. Actually, looks like we've got a little bit of a bottleneck forming here. So maybe we... No, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Let's get out a scavenging point. Uh, recycling plant is what I mean. Recy recycling facility. Oh, we don't want to build too many things at once. Um, but yeah. Dogger White. Barracks finished. Bureaucrat office is finished. Airbase all finished. Now Dogger White is a big town. So let's get another. Let's get another bureaucratic offices up here. Yeah. And um, I was talking to Kale. And Kale. I was, I was kind of congratulating him. I was like man you really know how to min max this game. Like I'm well impressed. And he was like well I just, I'm just building bureaucratic offices every turn. That's his, you know, that's, I mean, it's not his only secret, but that's kind of what he's doing. And that was really interesting to me because I was like, ah, oh, right. Yeah, I, I've just, I'm really, I should have known this. I should have been a bit quicker off the mark with that. I just never really, I think I kind of do it intuitively when I'm playing these games sometimes. I just kind of, you know, just build things constantly. Let's nationalize that one as well. Um, but, you know, I, I think that doing it intuitively isn't, you know, and just sort of like coasting along isn't, really what you want to be doing when you're playing a multiplayer game you really need to be focused and you know focusing on what do i need i need this okay well you need to build that now <laughs> if you follow me anyway uh let's have a look at uh let's go back to our hi to high peak now high peak is our main city and i have got a lot of fuel what i what i could consider doing um is getting is getting up a power plant power plants use 500 fuel per turn but they they do produce uh, they do produce 500 energy, which is quite a lot. This is something nice you can just turn on and off as you need it. Um, we have got volcanic energy plant going up, and that should be done in two turns, I believe. I think it's like one point something turns. So yeah, that's also something we can do. Might be worth getting a, a town up here, you know. Yeah, there's quite a lot of scavenging points here. This might be worth getting a zone up. Maybe I'll do it here. And we'll get we'll start off with truck station. And we'll create a new uh, create a new zone. Um, I wonder, did I actually end up getting power banks in the end? Let me just double check. Where are we? Physical storage, no. Oh yeah, power plant. I'm playing this game again, aren't I? Where I'm trying to find stuff. <laughs> Let's not do that because it's not a very fun game for people to watch. Um, I'm pretty sure I got power banks. I can't remember where the, where it is. Oh, there they are. Wow, they're all the way all that way down in tier three. That's interesting. Um, so yeah, there we go, power banks. So we should get some power banks up too. I don't know how expensive they are. I seem to remember them costing rares. Is that right? I think so. Um, yeah, power banks. Oh yeah, they do. Right, so they cost a little bit of rare. 200 oh they're two rounds as well but they do give you two two thousand and they do take workers too i think this is worth getting up though they're only i mean well mind you it's quite a lot of metal still let's go for it i want i do want to start getting power banks up because we we're going to need it especially when we start pumping out lasers um metal mine two here vmar uh let's get the truck station upgraded here too or maybe we um, perhaps put a hospital in. Yeah, definitely need the hospital look.
And then, um, yeah, I think we do need to start planning eventually for having uh, railways as well, because we will, eventually we'll be wanting to move things like artillery pieces around. Now, in this crazy te uh, in this crazy terrain, look at this. This is all like dense terrain, and vehicles don't do well in this. So we're going to be using lots of you know not so much towed stuff, and we're going to be using lots of infantry walkers. So um, I want decent logistics I, I want good roads i need to be able to push things out to people let's get this road out here look like that and then we're gonna um yeah okay that's that is it's gonna block those off except for everything except pull points just so that i've got these roads um yeah We might be losing, might be losing some logistics out, like doing like that. I might, I might think about this again later on, and just be like, okay, yeah, what I'm doing. So one of the things about having this kind of like spider web, spider web roads, um, you do, you do get logistical issues caused by the branching penalty. Um, what do we got here? This is a truck station two. Got plenty of, we've got plenty of logistics there. Now this is part of reach now, is it? Okay. What's the logistical strain here like? Um, where are we? Admin strain 12. Yeah, we are actually getting administrative strain here. Um, only, oh, mind you, 12's a lot, you know. I think that's because of the size of this asset, actually. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, let's just leave it for now. Uh, what we really want to do is put a zone up here somewhere, I'd say. Problem is what we got here. Yeah, I mean this truck station is probably not that necessary actually. Yeah, all sorts of interesting things to think about. Um Yeah, all sorts of interesting things to think about. Maybe getting a zone down here might be useful too. I don't want to build too many uh, new zones. It is better you know, it probably is better in this case just kind of like build upon the ones that we've got. Um Maybe getting increase trying to increase the size of border fort might be helpful. Uh, we've got twelve thousand population at the moment, so what we need is we need more, we need more stuff in here, more assets. Um, now we've already got a truck station at Westcliff here, so I don't know if I need one in border fort itself. Something that's got you you kinda of wanna put something up that's got you know needs a lot of workers, really. I mean any of these any of these uh government buildings would be decent. Suppose we could put an agricultural zone there. Actually what would the what would it be like for actually growing stuff here? Grassy plains. Temperature's 25. Let me just have a look at what the agricultural crop details. Ideal is 20. Yeah, that, that's ideal temperature. Now, we are... What are we currently? We're in late summer at the moment. Can't remember whether the temperature drops at that point. Let me have a look. Geology. In the summer, at the tropics... Oh, so it, it kind of fluctuates... It's kind of hot in the spring. Yeah, it might not be best a be, the best idea to get one of those up. However, we're not really doing it for the actual food output. We're we're kind of we're doing it for the uh, you know the people getting the people working. Now it only takes one turn to come out. It takes a lot of water though, and your uh, the water is at the expense of not using energy. Look. We've also got hydroponics too. Let's just get one of those up. We'll just build it up anyway, and we'll get someone. We'll just try and grow the size of this border fort here. We don't. We don't want to have a lot of people, you know, relying on. We don't want people relying on the food output from here. Is what I'm trying to say. Um, maybe actually increase the size of the agrodome to two rounds. Yeah, I can do that. Let's just get a few more machines out. And as always, we want to raise a formation of some kind, so... Um, oh, 
Holy Javelin. Let me have a look at that one. Uh, that's one that I built myself, wasn't it? Uh, the Holy Javelin was a 150mm high-velocity gun. Holy, oh, by the way, um, there's, a, there's a patch that just gone by. I don't think it will work on this. I'm not sure if it will take place. Uh, I'm not sure if the effects of, of it will actually work with this game because we started the game ages ago. But uh, anti-tank guns have actually been given a lot more firepower now, essentially, and a lot more hit points in defense. So apparently they were really underperforming and they're a lot better now. So, yeah. Um, this formation. Maybe I'll just get some. Maybe I'll just get another brigade up. Yeah, let's get another heavy machine gun infantry brigade up, I think. There we go. And I'll um, I'll think about where I'm going to move those. I think they're probably going to go over this side. To so I've got another layer of troops this way. But we might actually be able to strategic move them. Oh no, we can't go that way. Oh, okay. So we've got a bottleneck here. Ah, okay. Let's get the truck station four up too. I might be building a little bit too much stuff now. Um, yeah, I'm building a lot of stuff. Look, so we might see a bit of a. Probably want to buy myself some more metals. Oh, they're so expensive though. Look. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of reluctant to pay that much for them. Let's do it anyway. Let's get let's get these metals in, um, just so that I can I can actually cover this massive spe expenditure I'm going through. This is going to tax my logistics as well, big time. All right, folks, that's going to be it. I'm going to design an aircraft model now and sign off. I'll uh, catch you next time. Take care.